Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can write to a file and read from a file. Uh, there's going to be a few videos that looks at how we use files in Python. This is the first one, so here we go. Um, first of all, I've got a... Um, this is the file I'm working on, so it's called File Basics. That's where my code is going to go. It's open up at the moment and you can see there's nothing actually in it. I've got an empty text file in here. Uh, the file name is example underscore file dot txt. There's nothing in here and this is where we're going to be putting some information and also reading from that file. So we'll come back to that in a moment. The first thing I want to do is set up a, a variable that stores our file name um, and I'm just going to put that in here now. Example underscore file dot txt. This is our file name. The first thing I wanted to do as well was show you how to um, write to a file. So this is writing, oh, let's do it like this, writing to the file. All right, we need to create a special variable. Uh, I'm going to call it file to keep it easy. Most people just call it f, um, but I'm going to, so it's absolutely clear, I'm going to call it file. And the first instruction I'm going to give it is this open instruction. So it says open file and returns a stream. Um, it raises an input output error upon failure. You can't see the failure off the screen, but it says failure. So I'm going to say, right, open the file name, which I've created up here. Uh, and I'm going to say, I'm going to open it up into a particular mode. In this case, it's write mode. So I've got to use a W for that. There are other modes you're about to see uh, the read one in a moment and the append one in a, in a future video. But in this case, I'm going to be looking at write mode. Once I've created that line, I'm going to set up a little for loop. And in my for loop, basically, I'm going to write a new line uh, for e each time this for loop runs. So I'm going to set up a for loop called uh, for i in range 0. Oh, let's go 1 to um, 11. What I want it to do is in the file, write the following message. This is line, and I'm going to put a percentage mark here with an integer because I'm going to refer to the integer i here in a second. So this is line, um, and I basically want it to say this is line one, this is line two, this is line three, and I want it to do it on different uh, lines. So I'm going to put a new line uh, instruction here, um, and uh, I need to then close my brackets, put in here, I want it to be uh, I. So what this integer is here is actually referring to I from the for loop. So it's going to start on 1 and it's going to keep going up to 10, well up to 11 but not include 11. So the last line should say this is line 10. Once I've done the stuff with the file, it's very important that I close it. So I'm going to use the command file.close um, and that's it. So let's run this first of all. Now it won't say anything uh, because I, all I've done is I've written to the file but we can open it up and check out what's happened. There we go. So now this file says line, this is line one, this is line two, this is line three, all the way up to this is line 10, just like we wanted uh, based on our code. What I'm going to show you now is how to read from the file. So I'm going to do file equals open, and it's very similar to the first one, file name, only this time I'm going to read from the file. So I put it into R mode for read. Now, for each line in the file, I want it to print the line and uh, I'm going to look for the end which is uh, signified by a, a, a blank space. And once I've done that, again, I'm going to close the file once I've finished. So let's run that. Ooh, invalid syntax, what have I done? Uh, oh, I wrote the so for line in file, print line, and this is like a, a special instruction that says when you hit the end of the line, you know, that's what you're looking for. So run that now. Here we go. This is line one, this is line two, this is line three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's pulled that information from this example file. Now something you need to be aware of is this. If I put another instruction or another line in here, uh, this is a new line, Close it. saved it and closed it. When I run this program again, it won't print that last line. That's because every time you go into write mode, it basically wipes the file and starts again. 
So in order to get that, I'm going to just comment this out, open this file again. This is the new line. Because I have commented this top bit out, the right section out, if I run it this time, it will print this is the new line. So it's just something to be aware of. That's the end of this video. In the next video, we'll look at how we can use files a little bit more and how we can do, start to do some really cool stuff with them.